Well, hello, hello, welcome back, my Mafians. And hello, AJ, over there in the sound booth, making all of the wonderful, wonderful intro music that you hear. And uh, hello to all my listeners, all my new listeners and existing listeners. Uh, Welcome, welcome back. We have a real treat today, AJ. We've got a real treat for everyone. And um, let let me just say this... We've been really out of sequence in our podcast and, and what we were planning to to broadcast, um, you know, this year compared to what we've actually broadcast. So we've 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 kind of inserted a lot of episodes. I know um, I've mentioned a few that we've inserted, uh, you know, the, the, the storm that we had last week came through and that was an unexpected episode that I wanted to share with you, though. And today we're going to we're going to kind of squeeze in an episode, uh, my grandson, um, in, in the evenings, I go for a walk. Uh, usually I try to get a half an hour, an hour in just a brisk walk and get my exercise and my steps, right. I'm using my, my, uh, my Apple watch to get my, my steps in and my move goal or whatever it is. I don't know. There's a lot of rings on there. I can't even see it, but I, I think I'm, it's working. So we walk around and, um, he's, he said, grandpa, you should do a show about surviving a bear attack. And at first I said, you know, that's great. You know, it's a good idea. I don't see myself or my mafians ever in a position maybe that they would need to have to worry about that. But then he said, no, no, no. I'm going to text you a video on, from the tube. Um, and I'm going to text you, watch this video. And it will really help you survive a bear attack. So... Went back in the next day, I, I look at the text message, I watched the video, and I was like, wow, I, I actually learned a couple of things about bears that I did not know, and uh, I basically, I kind of understand how to survive a bear attack. Now, if I'm ever in these places that where these bears are, then I, I would think I'd have somebody with me that would be able to help teach me how to, you know, stay out of harm's way, but... <sighs> I, uh, it was interesting. So we're going to do uh, an episode and today's episode is going to be how to survive a bear attack. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're going to bring in some of the, some of the media from the tube video and uh, critique it. If you will, we're going to critique the tube video and do a, do a, you know, we're going to see if, uh, the techniques really, no, we're not. <laughs> AJ said, are we going to bring a bear in the studio? I said, no, 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 we're not going to bring a bear in the studio, AJ. No, we're not going to go and find a bear. No, that that's not going to happen neither. So, no, we're we're going to watch the video and we're going to kind of put our heads together and we're going to see if it will, we think it would work. And you, all my mafians and the listeners and everyone out there, you can go to Twitter and Facebook. Um, I guess Instagram, you can comment with a picture if you want to put a bear and then put a picture of it or whatever. But, uh, and uh, we're going to talk about it. You can go to YouTube, comment in the YouTube section, wherever you like, we'll find you. And uh, we're going to see what your thoughts on our take on the surviving a bear attack scenario, right? Most of the people just say probably run. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea, but uh, we'll have to find out. But definitely check us out. Uh, we're going to head over to our um, our YouTube. Our uh, We got all our videos over there and our podcast. And you can check us out on all of the major podcast applications uh, we are on uh, anchor spotify google podcast apple podcast uh, breaker radio public bullhorn uh, like and subscribe we really do appreciate it um you can pause the pause the podcast right now go ahead like and subscribe we'll wait i'm gonna play some music here aj like a, a jeopardy theme oh, yeah, that's probably copyrighted we probably won't play that but okay you've had enough time uh like and subscribe thank you for that and um you can head over to Teespring, uh, Two Clever Mafia, the Two Clever Mafia podcast over on Teespring. Get get all the merchandise if you want a T-shirt. We've got the new face masks coming out soon. Uh, and obviously, we're on the Facebook and the Twitter, like we said, and all those. And like and subscribe. We we more the more the merrier that we can chat about our our little uh, our little podcast here. The better off we're going to be. So uh, we can all work together to. Uh, in this case, survive a bear attack. 
So we will be right back after these messages. Uh, don't go anywhere. This is going to be real fun. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome back, Mafians. Welcome, hello, AJ. Thank you for that another lovely, lovely intro. AJ, you you are masterful in that sound booth. Thank you so much. Um, we we have a really great show today, and um, I know I've been wanting to learn how to do this. We are gonna we're gonna based on science. We are going to tell you how to survive a bear attack. That's great. Yes. And this all came about because my grandson said, you know, grandpa, you need to, um, no, he doesn't call me too clever mafia. He calls me grandpa, but, uh, you need to let your listeners know if they're ever in a situation, how to survive a bear attack. And I said, well, at first I didn't know how many of my listeners are listening to my podcast or watching our videos, um, that might need that type of help or tips. But, um, he said, no, I'm going to send you this video, which he did. He sent me this video and, uh, through the tube, uh, texted it to me. I figured it out two days later how to read it. But, uh, and I watched it and it was very educational and it was interesting and it was fun. And I wanted to share it with all, all, all my listeners here today. And, uh, we are going to go through it. We're going to do kind of a little bit of a, a critique, if you will. Um, although it was a wonderful video, uh, but, uh, we're going to go through it and, um, hopefully we'll learn a thing or two, right, AJ? I think we might be able to learn a thing or two. So we're going to, we're going to queue up the video. We're going to go through it. This is our plan and we're going to queue it up and, uh, we're going to go through it and I'll post the link for the video. If you want to watch it late at a later date, uh, very interesting video. Uh, but, uh, we're going to get right into it, AJ, right? Yeah. I'm your host, Too Clever Mafia. This is the Too Clever Mafia podcast you're listening to. And don't forget to check us out on uh, www.tooclevermafia.com. And here we go. Everybody listen up, get their notepad and pencil or their uh, their phone, type some notes in. I guess if you're listening to us, you probably have to write it down or I don't know if you can do both at the same time. I probably couldn't, but uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Uh, Oh boy, this sounds sounds kind of spooky. Okay, I'm already a little bit nervous because the bears look very dangerous. Hey, sweet little bear. Whoa. Do you uh, like being tickled? Wait a minute. This okay. So why is he starting to tickle the bear right off the bat here? I don't know. It is a well, it's a cute little cub, but I would not be tickling a bear of any kind. Let's see. Bears can be cute. Yes. But for most people, they definitely bear can encounters be. aren't anything like that. Okay, now now there's a bear in the back seat of this lady's car. Here's how to meet a bear and come out alive according to science. Well, uh, we'll see about that. I don't know Statistically, if this is going to work. Bears shouldn't be your biggest concern while hiking in the forest. Okay, so you now this guy looks like he's in the jungle of the rainforest and uh, I got to tell you I don't see myself there anytime soon, but uh they don't Let's normally see. attack people for no apparent reason. Okay, now there's a bear in these this couple's bedroom laying on the floor, and uh, these are some crazy images here I'm looking at. Not unless they're startled or starving. Now he's attacking if the porta If you do potty. meet a bear angry with you about the intrusion, what should you do? Run. Run. Should you run for your life? Absolutely. I would run. Pretend to be dead? Nope. Or attack him before uh, he attacks I'm you? I'm not... Maybe 50 years well, ago. Well, the first thing to know about bears, what? they aren't all the same. Yeah, I know that. Before choosing your survival strategy, you'd be wise to identify the bear running toward you. Uh, excuse me, can I see the some ID? The first bear on our list is the brown bear, also known as the grizzly. Okay, so the brown bear. Is, you're writing this down. You're keeping notes, AJ. The grizzly bear. This is the first one. And uh, we're, we're going to keep notes because you never know when the bear might just show up in our studio like it did on this video just showed up in these folks' bedroom. Color, medium to dark brown. Mm -hmm. Body length, 200 centimeters. Okay. Body features, round ears, yep. long claws, and a slight hump above the shoulder. Uh, well, that looks... If you go hiking similar. in the woods of Canada or Russia, be... Okay, okay, so if we're going hiking in the woods of Canada or Russia... We have to be prepared for a black bear. I think that's what they're going to say here. 
prepared for a date with a grizzly. Exactly. See that? Firearm? Leave that thing at home. Uh, AJ, leave your, your AR-15 at home. You hear that? There's no need. A study of bear-human conflicts proved guns to be ineffective when encountering a bear. Okay, so if it was a choice of having one or not, I would probably like to go down in a blaze of glory, but I, they're saying it doesn't work, so kind of useless against these grizzly bears. But bear spray is a different story. Oh. Carry it in your front pocket. If a brown bear attacks you, have... you'll only have a few seconds to fire. Oh, boy. And don't run. Bears are fast. Don't worry. They I'm not will running catch anywhere. You. Better to fall into the fetal position. What? Protect your head, not gonna neck, happen. and stomach. If a grizzly keeps attacking no. you, play dead. <laughs> Once the bear doesn't see a threat in you, they'll leave. Will they? But first, they'll you make promise? sure you're absolutely dead. Whoa. It's better to stay down for at least 20 minutes after Whoa. an attack. Okay, so now if I go down, okay, and this bear is sniffing me, uh, I'm probably going to be down there for a lot longer than 20 minutes because it takes me 20 minutes just to, 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 to sit into the upright position in the morning so uh, and swing my legs over the side of the bed these days. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be laying down, but uh, not by choice. I'll probably have started to run and then I'll trip and fall, AJ. Yeah, you're going to run too? Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know if I, I think if I encountered a bear, I, playing dead is not an option. But we'll see. Let's see. Let's see what they say here. Just in case. Moving on to number two, the black bear. Oh, the black bear. This Color. is dangerous. From black to light blonde. Oh, they're smaller. Body length, they're... 150 centimeters. Oh, they're kind of small. Body features, straight facial profile. Yeah, they look kind of cute. Taller ears and short claws. Okay, short claws. That's good. Black bears aren't as big or as aggressive as grizzlies, but they might attack you if they feel threatened. Okay, so... Mental note, and write it on your paper as well, AJ. Do not threaten the black bear. Whatever you do here, don't play dead. These oh, guys wasn't... don't fall for that. Oh boy, these don't are smart. Don't try to climb a tree bears. either. Black bears are much better climbers than you. Wait a minute, they had smaller claws though. And uh, you've never seen me be chased by the bear, have you, AJ? Because I can climb a tree like nobody's business. Instead, get big. Get loud. Uh, no problem there. And act as aggressively as you can. Arr, and don't forget the bear. about your bear spray. It works for all bears. Wow, these bear. Uh, we need to, next time you put in an order on the Amazon, get some of these uh, fire extinguishers full of bear spray because you, you never know when you're going to be encountered and a, a bear's going to just surprise you from I don't know where. But uh, I mean, I see there, there's videos already showing them in the porta potty in the bedroom. So uh, got to watch out for these bears. Finally, the most recognizable bear of all, oh, the polar bear. The polar bear. Color, white. Body length, 210 to, to go 330 to centimeters. Oh boy, oh. that's a monster. Body features, short tail, and massive paws. Okay, so when we go on uh, a cruise, anybody go, planning on going on a cruise to, let's say, Alaska or a cold area where you may just encounter a polar bear, you, you, you need to listen here. If you find yourself alone in the Arctic and the largest land carnivore on Earth is running at you, you've got yourself in some big trouble. <laughs> Tell me about it. Polar bear, your prey at first sight. Oh boy. You won't scare them so easily with intimidation. Wasn't planning on it. Fighting a one ton polar bear, not a great idea either. No. Once again, bear spray is your best bet. Uh, okay, so we need a large container of bear spray because these polar bears are mon uh, they're humongous. I didn't realize they were that big. I mean, this is not an ad for bear spray, but you should get some of this stuff. You're uh, we were already placing the order as we speak. It's a two-day shipping with the Amazon Primes. Running into a lot of bears. If you do end up fighting the bear, attack as if your life depends on it. Well, here's the thing. If I get attacked by a bear at any given time in my life, uh, I'm probably going to fight like my life depended on it anyway. Um, it's kind of a natural thing, but, um, I'd probably try to escape, I guess. I'm not going to go toe to toe with this bear and start throwing punches. I tell you that much. And, uh, if that's what they think. I don't know how science, you know, this isn't very sciencey. It just really is, seems to be an ad for bear spray. Because it does. Try to aim for the nose or the eyes. Okay. So this thing is like seven feet tall, unless I get a step stool. I'm not going to be able to hit him in the nose or the eyes. Now, if he's 
that close to me, I'm probably already done for because he's on top of me and these things weigh a ton, literally a ton. And watch out for those deadly paws. Yep. Ultimately, I'll the be best done. way to survive is to avoid an encounter in the first place. That's what I was going to say. The best way to survive is don't go where the bears are. Stay away from the bears. Lucky for you, most bears will retreat when they hear you coming. Well, that's good. Before you even know they're around. Well, still not taking still my chances. Worried? Let me just say that you've got a higher chance of dying from a wasp sting than you do from a bear attack. Speaking of wasps, AJ, when we were coming into the studio, not to make a side note, but there are like these wasps that are digging into the ground out there. We need to call an exterminator because I, I, if I get stung, there's going to be some problems and I'm going to have to contact the landlord because they shouldn't be there. I, bees are growing, are digging holes. There's, there's literally piles of sand out in front. But uh, yeah, I think my odds these days of getting stung by a wasp is going to be uh, a lot higher than... Uh, Coming into work in the parking lot on like this video, there was a big brown bear in the back of a some lady's car. I, I'm I'm gonna make sure I lock my car every time I come into the studio. I tell you that. Sometimes you can get hurt when you least expect it. Yeah. Gotta stay tuned tell me about it. for more survival how tos according to science. Okay, well, that was a fun video, and uh, I didn't think. I thought there'd be more bear information. I, 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 I'm kind of let down there because I thought, uh, I, th I really thought the bear attack scenario would have been more scientific, you know, do kind of like the, um, the hokey pokey or something. And then the bear would, would back away if there was some sort of, you know, mind trick you can do with a bear, but pretty much they're saying to stay away from the bears. And, uh, unless you got this bear spray and even then you're probably out of luck, but, uh, all right. So just to recap, uh, I, I did take my notes here. The brown bear, also known as the grizzly bear, right? Canada, Russia, not going there anytime soon. Uh, guns don't work against these grizzly bears, but the bear spray does. The bear spray does. Uh, don't run, play dead. That's iffy. Don't know if I'm going to, because if I fall on the ground or get on the ground, I'm not getting up, regardless of whether the bear leaves or not at that point. And then, because, you know, you got to stay down there for 20 minutes while the bear is sniffing you and stuff and, I don't know. I don't know if I could go through that. So then you got your black bear, which is the smaller bear. Don't play dead because they're smart. So the, 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 the black, the big brown bears are stupid, but the small little black bears are smart. So don't play dead. Don't climb a tree, which maybe I'll climb a tree against a brown bear if I can find one, if I'm in an area where I, you know, I don't know. And, um, the, uh, get big and loud against those black bears. And uh, once again, bear spray seems to be the common denominator. And then with the polar bears, uh, apparently I'm an appetizer at first sight. So uh, considering they weigh one ton and they're like seven feet tall, I'm supposed to use bear spray. So when uh, if I ever get off a boat in an Alaskan cruise and I'm on an iceberg and I encounter a polar bear, um, I got to make sure... I at the very least, I have my fire extinguisher of, of bear spray. So, um, yeah, yeah. So I hope everybody learned everything, something today. Did you learn something today, AJ, about bears? Okay. Well, my grandson said this is a, this was a, a very educational, educational video. So, um, hopefully everybody learned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to be right back with the Two Clever Mafia podcast. I am Two Clever Mafia. And don't go anywhere because we've got another fun right after this welcome welcome back okay you've just listened to the first part of how to survive a bear attack right aj we've taken notes but i felt a little bit let down because i really were like you know is all we need to do is have this bear spray and we're pretty much safe from bears or just <laughs> fyi stay away from bears so i i, I kind of i searched the tube a little bit myself here and uh another video popped up and said to me, um, you know, Hey, it said, you want to survive a bear attack? This is the easy way. It said, so it was pretty interesting. I said, uh, okay, well, uh, it's got a lot of views. It's, um, uh, from a reputable, uh, YouTuber. And, uh, I figured what the heck we had so much fun with the last one. Let's see what we can do to, uh, to survive a bear attack the easy way because you got to lay down you got to play dead i don't know they might say the same thing but um 
we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what happens here. So let's get let's get this video going and do a little bit of a critique. All right, let's see what we're, let's see what we're up against here, AJ. The easy way to survive a bear attack. Picture this, or look at the picture. One day, you're on a relaxing stroll through the woods, okay. taking in the fresh morning air. More believable. The only sounds are chirping birds, swaying branches overhead, I... and the crunch of leaves under your feet. Okay, perfect. Suddenly, your relaxation is interrupted by the uh -oh. sound of twigs snapping behind you. Who's following you me? You turn around and are suddenly face to face with a grizzly bear the wow, size of your car. that's the big one. That's now what are you gonna the do? car, oh boy. A, compliment him on his coat. B, no. say, my, what bright shiny teeth you That's have. silly. Or C, introduce the bear to your much slower companion while you <laughs> skedaddle. See you later, AJ. We're out of here. Because I'm here to tell you exactly how to survive a surprise visit from Yogi's bigger cousin. Whoa. Okay. Well, this might be interesting, AJ, because I could see myself just listening to the birds taking a stroll. Bears live throughout the world, from Canada to the Andes, and, and Russia. northern Europe to Southeast Asia. Yep. These intelligent, muscular omnivores usually prefer to keep their distance from humans, Good. but can be a serious threat on the rare occasion when they turn violent. Whoa. Now, the best way to prevent bear attacks is to avoid direct contact with the animals as much as possible. Okay, so now in this video, this little character here is petting the, the hind side of this bear. Okay. So, uh, that is real direct contact. Well, duh. Yeah, this might seem like a no-brainer. Yep. But whenever you plan a weekend outing, it's essential to check if there are any known bear habitats in the area. I you do that all the time. Visit. Every time I go out to the food store, I first thing I do is head over to this website and make sure there's no bear attacks. Every, every time, AJ, every time. If it turns out bears do inhabit your planned hiking route, mm -hmm. then preparation is in order. Oh yeah. Bears aren't evil creatures, and their attacks mm -hmm. are extremely rare. On average, there are only about three fatal attacks per year. That's one this too many. bears well behind sharks, wolves, and even vending machines. Wait a minute. Vending machines? Uh, we need to fact check. We need to fact check this. Fact check, fact check. Is that where the term vendetta comes from? All right, you machine. You got my brother. Now I'm going to get you. Um, no. Uh, In fact, bears generally try to avoid humans when we come near. It's very common for hikers and campers to come within a few hundred feet of a bear and never know it. Now, I just went hiking and camping. I, I mean, I did the old RV thing, which I did the podcast about uh, last week, the week before. I don't know. Um, and I didn't see one bear. I saw a lot of deer couple of squirrels, chipmunk, a lot of birds, no bears. So I guess I was lucky. This might sound like a cliche, but they really are more afraid of you than you are of them. When mm. bears turn violent, it's usually because they're surprised and frightened or trying to protect their cubs. That's how I am. They tend to be most active during the day when they're out foraging for food. Yep. Although some breeds are nocturnal. Bears nope. also prefer following trails and clearings to forcing their way through the brush. So if you remain alert, the odds of sneaking up on one by accident are pretty small. Now, I don't go about sneaking up on one. I would more say the bear would be a snake sneaking up on me. But, uh, yeah, I never just, you know, oh, oh boy. I guess some people live in an area where they can actually sneak up on a bear and, uh, they're probably not listening to our podcast, um, or maybe they are, who knows, but it, they definitely, uh, I mean, do they even have Wi-Fi or uh, cell phone service out in the, in, in this wilderness? Uh, well, any, any, anyway. If you're camping or taking a multi-day hike, some jurisdictions require you to store food in a bear-proof container. What? Specialized cans that bears are unable to open. Another good piece just of advice make angry. is to keep toothpaste out of your tent. What? Many species of bear are known to be attracted to the smell. Really? A little bit wow, of morning breath is worth it if it means nope. keeping your summer activities uh. bear-free. These are all excellent ways. No, don't listen to that, AJ, because I have smelt your morning breath, and uh, it's not not pleasant. Not pleasant when you've come into the studio and said, hey, good morning, uh, too clever, and I've said, oh boy, this is going to be a rough day. 
strategies to avoid surprise bear encounters. But sometimes, prevention just isn't possible, mm. and you find yourself in a hairy situation. Oh boy. If you're a responsible wilderness explorer, you already research bear behavior before you ventured out. That's what we're doing. know how your new furry friend is going to react. Okay, so this is everybody listening. This is your research. You're listening, learning about bears. So you are considered a responsible wilderness explorer. If you've stumbled upon a family of black bears, you're in luck. Well, sort of. These smaller breeds prefer to avoid conflict whenever possible and oh. will usually retreat when threatened instead of becoming oh, what aggressive. Heck? What was that? These bears are excellent climbers and will use this ability to their advantage, scaling a nearby tree oh, to boy. avoid danger. That black bear if you run climb. into one, there's a decent chance it'll be long I thought. gone before you've even had time to react. Yeah. Black bears account for most of the bear encounters well, in the United the States, ones. since they tend to be more adventurous when it comes to entering nope. human areas. They don't fall for the dead trick. Thanks to their skittish nature, they tend to be seen as more of a nuisance than a threat. That said, but, bears what? have been known to injure dogs that tried to follow them deeper into the woods. But so keep a tight grip on why is your dog going into the woods? Whenever you're out and about with your best friend. Hey Fido, get back Brown here! Stop bears, going into the, the woods. On the other hand, including the infamous North American grizzly, oh boy. tend to be much more aggressive when yeah, threatened. Yeah, that's a big one. While they wouldn't usually turn hostile at the sight of people, I, I hope they go into polar bears here because uh, these grizzly bears are aggressive. We know that. I'm staying away from any location that may have a grizzly bear because, you know, the black bears it's hit or miss, but these brown bears forget it still need to be careful when one approaches. Bears are curious animals, and mm. once the initial shock has worn off, they'll often approach whatever spooked them to determine if it poses a threat. Oh boy. This isn't this an is inherently good. aggressive gesture, but can be intimidating. Yep. So just remember to stay calm and keep your wits about you. Yeah. If you're in a group, which is always a good idea in bear country, yeah, because stay I bring together. Groups to bear country. If you pack bear repellent, put it in your hand with the safety off. And <laughs> more of the bear repellent. It, it looks like he's got a container of Windex here. But <laughs> don't make any aggressive moves. Instead, back away slowly. Back away. In a calm, Look like a lamb. Clear voice. Nope. Usually, this will be enough to defuse the situation. Oh yeah, and I'm the bear will retreat once it feels confident. Let him meet somebody else in your group. That's threat. what I say. In the rare cases that the bear holds its ground. You may be better off picking a new path, <laughs> since Get out of here. is the last thing either of you wants. No. Now, if you absolutely need to get past and are 100% sure you're dealing with a black why, bear, why am I you might consider getting... trying to move it out of the... Oh, hold on a second here. Why am I getting territorial and I have to get... Excuse me, bear, but I have to get past you. You know, I'm not retreating. I have to go past you. I, I really, you know, really don't care about your attitude. I don't really care about how hungry you are or how much you want my toothpaste, but I have to get past you. I, has anyone ever said that to a, to a, to a brown bear, grizzly bear? I, I, I don't know. Hey, this can be done by looking the bear in the eye oh, and boy. firmly telling it to leave. These are the mind Excuse tricks I was me, looking for. Mr. Bear. You need to leave right now. <laughs> oh. well, <laughs> the bear just looked at him cross-eyed and said, you know, I don't understand English. The bear isn't going to understand your words. Your <laughs> That's tone what can convey a lot of information. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As sure. long as it has a clear direction. <laughs> this guy in the video, it looks like he's petting the bear on the top of the forehead. <laughs> it's like, hey, bear, you need to leave. I, I think he's definitely sending mixed mix, mix signals there, AJ. <laughs> definitely sending the mix, mix, uh, uh, you know, kind of a hashtag movement here that he's like, yeah, hey, bear, get out of here. And he's petting him behind the ear. In which to retreat. It should take the hint and get out of your way. <laughs> no, it's going to be, hey, if he likes it, then what? If you're entirely and without a doubt positive that you're dealing with a black bear, <laughs> brown bears will not take your aggressive... Now, if you're close enough and you can't tell if it's a black bear or a brown bear or a polar bear at this point, y you've got bigger problems. ...very well, and in the wild, it can be much more difficult to tell them apart than you might think. I don't know. Despite the names... Black bears can be brown, and right. brown bears can be black. Okay. So unless you're the kind of expert who probably doesn't need this guide anyway. Well, now here, we all learned this from the other one about the hump on the back, right? Uh, the longer, shorter claws, which I guess you would know if they dug into you, and uh, the size, and uh, really, you got to climb a tree and see if it's a grizzly or a black bear. That's really the big one. It's better not to take your chances. Uh, well, but what happens if the bear starts behaving aggressively? 
Run. What do you do? Run and get out of there. Swatting at the ground and snorting angrily. <laughs> it might even make a few threatening lunges. This, this bear this, this bear looks like a bull. Your general direction. Oh boy. This sort of behavior generally happens in one of three situations. The oh, bear is either defending cubs, protecting okay. its food, okay. or is spooked, and you're way too close. Okay, so the smoke coming out of the bear nose, uh, bear's nose, uh, I, I could see the cub thing, I could maybe see the food thing, but if he's just angry, you're out of luck. For comfort, regardless of the reason, your next steps will be the same. Quickly and calmly back away, preferably in the direction holding up your bear spray Windex bottle. You just came from. Most of the time, that will be enough. But if the bear starts to come after you, this is where the repellent comes in. Yeah, You right. never want to escalate the situation if you don't have to. <laughs> but that spray is your best I'm hosing it down. If the bear decides it means He's business. getting hosed with this don't spray. Don't firing it off on a bluff. But if the bear comes within He's 20 a, or... He doesn't have it on stream either, AJ. See that? He's got it on spray, like the spritz. You know, I'm going to have that stuff coming out like a fire hose. Defeat, give it a good blast, aim just above its head. Yeah. That should guarantee the spray gets in the bear's eyes, nose, yeah, and throat. Yeah, I'm targeting that forcing eyeball. Forcing it to back off. Yep. If you're too close for that to work, it might be time to play dead by laying on your stomach <laughs> and covering the back At this point, I'm out of breath of and I am dead. Neck. In most cases, that's all you need to do. Nope. Very rarely, though, Already the said. bear won't just appear aggressive. It might actually be aggressive. Yeah, well, uh, that's why I'm not playing dead. If it continues to follow you, even as you back away, it's time to think about fighting back. It's time to think about opening up that can of uh, bear spray, the, the second one, the fire extinguisher size one. I ain't going to be out there with a Windex-sized bottle of, you know, like I'm trying to clean a window here and, you know, wax on, wax off. I'm going to be spraying that bear right in the eyeball with, a, with, with something a lot more high pressure than a Windex bottle. Like right now. Look the bear in... This, this, this character here is... Uh, he's, he's, uh, He's ready to give him a knuckle sandwich. He's got uh, he's going fisticuffs. He's got uh, angry eyebrows, and he's uh, holding up his dukes here against the bear. Let's see what happens. Eyes and shout while making yourself look bigger. Stamp your feet on the ground and maybe. <laughs> and he's got capris on. He's got capris. Even take a step or two towards it. Oh, if no. there's a stick nearby, grab it and brandish it threateningly. <clears throat> Doing the same <laughs> thing with your bear repellent. Your goal is to Where'd show the, the bear that from? you'll fight if attacked, so you can't it let it like intimidate. He, he looks like one of those guys that are trying to wash your windows at the red light. He's got the stick and the spray. He's uh, <coughs> ang angry eyebrows and everything. If the bear moves in to attack, use the spray and start hitting it with anything you can get your hand on. My Kick it, punch it, insult its mother, hit it with a Wait. stick or... He said insult its mother, and he says your mother. So, um... Yeah, years ago I had a problem. I think there's even a video about that, but, uh, 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 boy, I'm not even going to get into that, but, uh, why would you yell at the bear and talk about the bear's mother? That's only going to irritate him. Rock, focus on the eyes and nose and do whatever you have to, because at this point, you're fighting for your life. Yep. As I've already said, this kind of attack is incredibly rare, but can happen. So this, uh, it's saying three, three attacks like this occur a year, and with my luck, I'll be number four. So, you need to come prepared. Mm -hmm. What's important is not letting the situation escalate right. to that point. A vast majority of bear encounters never turn violent, and very few even come close. Okay. They aren't aggressive under normal circumstances, so a lot has to go wrong before you find yourself locked in battle. Always remember to remain calm, keep your distance, mm -hmm. and back away from any fight that isn't completely unavoidable. That's kind of a life lesson. Now you know what to do if your weekend hike attracts some not entirely wanted attention. Okay, well, I know what to do, but uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not too convinced that I'm going to survive a bear attack at this point, AJ. I really think, uh, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. If I get attacked by a bear, I'm going to be in big trouble. Now that you've prepared to fend off fuzzy danger, nope. what outdoor activity is your favorite? All right, they're, 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 they're transitioning off of that one. Okay, so what have we learned, AJ? What have we learned? Well, we learned when all else fails, lay down and let the bear eat you, it seems like. We've learned that a stick and a bottle of Windex uh, apparently is really good for defending yourself against bears. And um, yeah, what else did we learn today? We learned that, uh, that the uh, smaller 
black bear can climb a tree like nobody's business and uh, may have better climbing skills than myself. And if you're with a crowd of people, try to throw somebody else in front of the bear while you run and escape and flee. And then you you, you can come back, but, uh, you know, wait at least 20 minutes. You know, it's kind of like going into the pool. Let the, let, let, let the bear finish eating and uh, that way you don't get cramps and he's full. And then you go back, you say 20 minutes afterwards, right? No. <laughs> oh boy, this has been fun. This has been fun. So this was how to survive a bear attack the easy way. Uh, I am your host, Two Clever Mafia, and you are listening to the Two Clever Mafia podcast, and we are going to post all the links for the videos uh, in the description on the YouTube uh, site. If you want to watch these fun videos and uh, enjoy the entertainment value, but also learn, you, you, you're, all of my Mafians now should be officially certified. I'm, I am going to officially certify you in how to deal with a bear attack, Right. So everyone is going to be officially certified at listening to the podcast. As long as you like and subscribe, you uh, a, send me a tweet and I'll, uh, you know, maybe we'll send out some sort of certification. Yeah. Yeah. Like and subscribe uh, or direct message us and we'll send you out a, a bear attack certification certificate. How's that? Via the Two Clever Mafia podcast. That sounds like a wonderful thing. Yeah. Probably just via email. I don't know if I can afford the uh, cost of stamps. We have a lot of listeners all over the world, but uh, if you want an official certificate to say, uh, I don't say how to, I've survived a bear attack, but uh, you are a certified bear survival expert via the uh, certification of the Two Clever Mafia, uh, and, and maybe I'll sign it. I'll figure out how to sign something electronically, and I'll email it. That sounds like good. Sounds good. So definitely check us out over on uh, www.twoclevermafia.com. Like and subscribe to all our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, Check us out on Patreon if you like what we do here and you want to see more of it. Uh, Too Clever Mafia. Donations are always appreciated. Teespring, if you want to uh, head over to teespring.com and if you want to get some of our merchandise, maybe we should make a logo with a bear on it. A bear attacking the Too Clever Mafia logo. What do you think, AJ? No? Yeah, that'd be too too difficult. I'm not really the uh, one with... um, Photoshop or uh, whatever you make those pictures in. Maybe I'll have to hire a, uh, somebody to um, do our, our graphic art work. And uh, obviously, obviously everyone can listen to us on our podcast uh, networks and applications everywhere. Uh, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Breaker, Radio Public, Bullhorn, which is one of our big ones. But like and subscribe, please. Please like and subscribe on the podcast that you're listening to, I'd appreciate it. If you watch a video on YouTube, like and subscribe. So we know you're you're liking what we do and we can make more content and uh, we really do appreciate all of that. And we appreciate all of our Mafians out there. Hope everyone is, is staying safe in these crazy times. And uh, in the U.S., we're really hoping things get back to normal. They're kind of, they head that way and then they don't as far as um, quarantines and um, stay at home and masks. And, uh, there's still something this afternoon that they're talking about maybe opening up movie theaters, AJ. And that's, uh, that's a big step. But if you're going to send kids back to school, which I don't know if they're doing that yet fully in New Jersey, I think it's been delayed some of it to like November and all of that. But uh, if you're going to send kids back to school across the country and they feel, you feel it's safe for that type of stuff, then I would imagine uh, going to a movie would be would be the same thing, right? I mean, you're sitting in classrooms or you, you're walking through hallways with other students. I would imagine that's, um, uh, I don't know, maybe they do spacing in between the individual, uh, the seats in the movie theater, which are those thing. The one by us has the, uh, the new, the big, the big leather recliners anyway. You have to clean those off pretty good. Although movie theater seats are always in the, not the, always kind of give me the heebie-jeebies and uh, kind of give me a little bit of skeeviness because I feel like they're not really clean anyway. But maybe they'll be different when they reopen. So um, uh, we will be right back with our uh, final words after this short break. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. You are listening to the Two Clever Mafia podcast, and I am your 
infamous host to Clever Mafia, or some says say Clever Mafia, AJ. AJ's over at my sound booth, and uh, we had a great show today, AJ. That I learned a lot about bears. I learned how to survive bears' attacks the uh, easy way and the hard way, and uh, uh, my main my main takeaway is we need some of that bear spray because uh, and a big stick they said and then you don't ever pet a bear on its hind it, it isn't not a good idea but, uh, hope everybody enjoyed enjoyed some of the some of the great YouTube videos that we were critiquing today and uh, if you liked it uh, drop us a tweet it was fun I'd like to do some more of this AJ this was really fun um, I gotta give give props as they say, to my grandson who uh, came up with this great idea. Um, we, you know, everybody, I guess, does need to know how to survive a bear attack. You never know. I could go out and put, try to put the trash out and, uh, you know, and uh, you never know when you're going to encounter a bear. You know, I mean, it's probably unlikely I'll see a polar bear in my, uh, you know, in, in my community anytime soon because that's the one I'm worried about. But, uh, and those black bears are fast and speedy and, uh, know how to climb those trees. And then you got the brown bears, uh, not too bright when you can play dead. So, uh, kind of sums it up, but yeah, that was a, a fun educational show. We, we, you know, this might have to be listed under an educational, uh, type of, uh, episode. We've, we've all learned a lot and, uh, I'm waiting for everybody to say that they've watched their, the podcast and send in for the certification. Uh, we're going to give a kind of a honorary certification. Anybody wants to email us at, uh, two clever mafia at gmail.com or head over to our website, two clever mafia.com. And you can hit the contact us button as well. Um, or just, uh, comment and tweet, uh, uh, on Twitter or Facebook or uh, what else we got YouTube. You can contact us, Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you can post a picture of a bear attack. Uh, maybe we'll, we're going to send out some certificates to, uh, to some folks, uh, to say, um, they're certified by the two clever mafia show to hopefully survive a bear attack, you know? And, uh, you know, we've, we've gotten some information from science, right? So some, the first one was really scientific. Um, I like kind of the fire extinguisher type, this, uh, dispenser for the, the bear spray though, which we've already ordered about five cases on Amazon. I don't know if they might be sold out now. But uh, we're going to have that everywhere. I We need bear spray. I need it in my glove box, in my car. I uh, want to have one over here on my desk, one underneath my desk, kind of a hideaway. You never know when a bear might surprise you. I want to have one concealed, kind of get an underarm holster for it. You know, be walking around at uh, my car over at the food store and boom, bear jumps out. Well, guess what? I'm going to quick draw and I'm going to hit him with a fire extinguisher of, 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 uh, of bear, bear repellent or whatever they call it. I don't even know what's in it. I don't want to know. But uh, definitely keeps the bear. Is it pepper spray? Yeah, uh, AJ is saying it's some sort of pepper spray. He's reading on the uh, the interwebs right now, and uh, well, that doesn't sound nice. I don't want to hurt the bear. Well, I guess if, the, if it's between me and the bear, I have to make a decision at that point. But um, thanks everyone for uh, listening once again and liking and subscribing. Uh, we can pause right now, but make sure you like and subscribe the uh, the podcast. Uh, they, wherever, whatever platform you're on, we're on Anchor, Spot, Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Breaker, Radio Public, Bullhorn. Like and subscribe. I'd like to sp- say a special thanks to our, uh, we're getting a lot of listeners in Ireland, in Brazil, uh, Scotland even, um, Canada, down in Mexico, and of course here in the United States. Uh, uh, we're getting some listeners in Germany, which was nice. So uh, we're kind of all over the place. So definitely... Um, uh, we really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel, you can head over to Patreon and we're Two Clever Mafia over there as well. Uh, if you just want to drop a line and say hi to good old Clever Mafia, feel free to do that anytime. I, I like to get the, get the uh, email, the nice emails, right? You know, you get those nasty emails and say, oh, you know, you're talking about hurting the bear, which I'll probably get a million of them. But uh, those nice emails that say, you know, thank you, Clever the ones that say thank you for for looking out for me if I was ever going to get attacked by a bear and uh, giving me some tips on how to survive that bear attack, which I would have never have known unless I listened to your show. Right, AJ? Right? I mean, so it, we're, we're, we're doing a public service. We're doing a public service, definitely. So that brings us, uh, 
I think we got everything today. Wow, we we did a we did a heck of a job. Well, I'm, I'm gonna pat my I don't hurt my own patting myself on the back, but I think we did a heck of a job today. And uh, you know, I, I'm gonna feel a lot more confident walking out into the parking lot to know I'm gonna live to see another day if uh, I'm approached by a bear. Not a polar bear though; they're too big. So um, everybody have a, uh, a safe and uh, happy and uh, healthy weekend. And we'll see you next week. I am Too Clever Mafia. This is the Too Clever Mafia podcast. And that is all I have to say about that. Bye-bye for now.